Hey everyone. As ash photographers, one of the things we need to do is take our calibration frames. Two of these, the bias and the darks, are super easy, especially with your ASI Air. So stick around and I'll show you how to do it. Packed up our telescope, we returned it to its home position, put the lens um, lens caps on, and put the cover on. It's now the time to take our bias and our dark frames. So over here in the ASI Air, I would go to the auto run, and then I would click on these three bars here. And here we have the flats that we have previously taken. I'm gonna uncheck those. If you're already taking some images uh, using the auto run, uh, you need to reset because it keeps track of where it is. And so it knows that it's okay to uncheck those. Now, first of all, I'm going to do our, our darts. And the darts are there to remove the thermal noise caused by the camera. And that's why it's really important to take it at the same temperature as what you took your lights at. If you have a cooled camera, that's great because you can do it almost any time. Again, recommend doing it in darkness, not in the daytime like we're doing right now for demonstration purposes, uh, because little light leaks can get in there somehow, while well, reflections off the ground and up into under, under your cover maybe, that could throw things off a little bit. So best to do that uh, when it's completely dark, you got your lens caps on, if you have a cover, put the cover on, or if you got an observatory, you know, obviously close it. Uh, and then we, can, then we can take our darts here. So to take the darts, uh, hit the plus, now tell it what type, obviously we want to take some darks. Now the exposure, this, unlike doing the flats, this is not automatically calculated. This needs to be the exact same exposure time as what your lights were. For demonstration purposes, we're just going to say we took 30 second subs on lights. The filters doesn't really matter because everything is, is dark. Uh, we're only doing this once. And uh, how many of them do you want? The more the better, uh, you know, it, just keep in mind that it's going to be 30 seconds times however many we put here. For demonstration purposes, I don't want to be here all day, so I'm just going to take 10. Uh, so that's going to be five minutes worth of, uh, of darts. Hit OK. And there we go. We've got our, our darts all set up. So the other frame you need to take, or sorry, the other calibration frame that you need to take is the bias. And the great thing is we can do both of these at the same time because it needs the same environment, you know, lens cap on, uh, cover over top, it's dark as possible. The same temperature, that is that is key. So again, if you don't have a, a cooled camera, take it right after you do all your lights, just as what you would do with the darks. So we're going to go up here and hit plus again. And this time we're going to do bias. And you notice it automatically sets the exposure time for you. Bias is there to it's there to remove the read noise from the camera. Uh, it's reading the pixels and there's electronic noise that happens and to figure out what that might be. And so you want the shortest possible exposure. So the SIR has already done that for you. Again, the filter doesn't matter. And then how many you want, um, again, more the better. Uh, probably 60 is probably fine. Uh, again, I'm just gonna do uh, 10 here. It'll be very quick, obviously. That's gonna be one 100th of a second to do them all. Okay. Then go back here, and then it's just a matter of hitting this uh, record button or the run button. It will go ahead and do all your darts and all your biases and couple that with the flats. If you haven't seen the flats video, I'll post it and I'll up here over here somewhere. And actually I'm probably down in the bottom left or probably in the corner of the screen. Anyways, it'll be up, up there, up there somewhere. But for now, we just need to do our darts and biases, hit record and go get a coffee. So there's our first dark frame. Uh, looks very dark, obviously, but that you'll see that there's some graining to it. That's the thermal noise that we're trying to get rid of. And there we go. Our darts and our biases have both been taken and we match those up with our flats and we can stack those with our lights and get our final image. That's as easy as it is. It is super simple, especially when you have the ASI Air. It just sort of auto runs, it's auto astro in a way, uh, and I love it. So hopefully that helps. If you have any 
questions or comments and any ideas that you guys would love to, uh, for me to make a video on, i uh, love to hear from you. Please post down below in the uh, comments. Um, I don't normally ask for this, but give me a little thumbs up if you don't mind. I uh, appreciate that. And uh, yeah, other than that, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. And we'll catch you next time.